brand new back to school mini clothing line just dropped, which includes three color block outfits that you guys get to choose from. Each outfit contains two pieces, so make sure to check out all of the links in today's video description, or you can find them all in the Kristen Plays Roblox group store. Hey everyone, it's Kristen and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. So for today's video, you guys, okay, I am kind of a little bit excited to make today's tea video, you guys, because I'm gonna go over some of the theories that I think might be coming to this year's 2021 Halloween Adopt Me update, you guys. So as you know, we currently have two videos that Adopt Me has shared that kind of give us a little bit of a sneak peek on what to expect. And we also have a picture that they also shared over on their YouTube. Now you guys, I've actually been sending all of these pictures of what I think to some of my friends and definitely thought it was time to make a video on this topic. So of course, before we get into today's video, of course, make sure to give this a super big thumbs up. Of course, as always, make sure that you are subscribed with those notifications on and let's go ahead you guys and just get started okay guys so i definitely thought that it would be super duper fitting to pull out our mega zombie buffalo you guys i feel like here's the thing she is definitely underrated this has always been like one of my favorite pets i have no idea why and um i kind of wish that her mom or the um the bones here <laughs> i kind of wish that those glowed as well just because the only thing that does glow on the mega is the nose i have seen some that have a little bit of a glitch that their eyes also glow but i feel like she was a little bit left out on the mega actual um situation here just the nose but you guys okay i'm kind of excited Okay, so I have a theory, you guys. All of the tea that we have already seen definitely has something in common and a theme. And we're gonna head over to Twitter, you guys, to get started with my theory and some Adopt Me tea. All right, you guys, so the first thing that we are gonna do is check out the picture that was posted over on the Adopt Me's, actually, their YouTube community page. So this was posted two days ago, which we have gone over, but like I said, you guys, I have a theory on what I'm kind of hoping this is not confirmed. Like I said, you guys, this is literally me and my own theory. So they said, happy October. I'm going to use this space to post exclusive sneak peeks of our spooky Halloween update, which of course, if you guys have not already subscribed with notifications on my channel, make sure of course that you do because I will be posting all of this information in case you guys happen to miss out. So they said, you are gonna wanna keep an eye on these posts because our team is doing a fantastic job conjuring up all sorts of things for you this month what could be inside of this building any guesses yes i have a guess <laughs> okay you guys so here we go i want to hear in the comments if you guys agree or disagree with what i am thinking of course this is going to change the more information that we get but as of right now you guys this is kind of what I'm thinking. Okay, hear me out, bear with me. So if you actually zoom in on this picture, you are actually seeing on the sign that says stay out. Did you guys notice that they put one of the narwhals over here? Kind of just, it doesn't really fit, right? It's kind of like out of the element here. And it's definitely here in my opinion to draw attention to this thing right here. So does this not look, you guys probably have seen the thumbnail that was posted on the T video from yesterday, where I actually customized the chick that we do already have in game to fit with the evil or possible dead chick. It definitely looks more evil to me, you guys. Okay, this is going to fit with my theory, we are gonna be flopping around just a little bit. So this is definitely one of the pets that we do already have in game, you guys. It just looks like it's a possible like evil version of it. Keep this in mind, you guys. This is a pet that we already have in game. Let me know before we go any further if you guys know where I'm going with this. So this is a vampire in the actual emoji up here that they have posted. A lot of people are saying that they feel like there is a vampire in here. Maybe this is like a spooky haunted house. Obviously, definitely looks like that type of a home. <laughs> but you guys, if there is a vampire in here and these pets are evil, we're gonna head over to check out some of the video because I actually have more to show you guys 
to expand on where I'm going with this. So the first thing that we've seen on Twitter on the 6th of October for a video was the map. Now a lot of people were really excited, including myself, with a change of scenery and the new fall map that is going to be coming in less than a week, you guys. This is actually going to be coming this coming Thursday. So I believe like in six days from when I'm posting this video. So this is for the map fall change. The Halloween countdown will also begin as well where they kind of zoom in in this area. Now this definitely looks like it could possibly be over by the campground where we're standing um, earlier in this video and it looks definitely spooky. Definitely fit for the Halloween season and you guys they've even shown us a little bit of an up close video. Now this is where more of my theory comes in. <laughs> so you guys might not have seen this, but we actually go underneath of that fallen tree and that is going to take us to the new Halloween location. So I don't know if this is going to be like somewhere we're gonna be able to teleport or just a place on the map. Definitely thinking this is going to be like the last couple of years where you just kind of walk in, the sky and everything changes. And I'm actually going to make this a little bit bigger, you guys, because I want to show you more up close. Hey, you guys, so we are a little bit up close and we are going to zoom in about here. Okay, so we have crystals, which I wish we had those in build menu. We have some spooky faces here. Not exactly sure if this is a ghost face, a pumpkin, but this could possibly be that home that we did see or even a little area that we have to walk through that has a gate. Now you guys, this is where more of my theory comes into play because if you actually look a little bit closer, there is more of those same type of pets that have turned evil. They are those super duper dark black pets that we already have in game with those little bit of like those evilly dead looking eyes. The X's is why I say it. This one to me definitely looks like it is actually the dragon, kind of like the red dragon that we have, the gold dragon, diamond dragon, that one like that. You can see the wings and also like the little, oh my gosh, are they horns? <laughs> I can't remember what they're called, but you can see the wings and this definitely looks like a dog or even the robo dog. That one is a little bit more blurry to me and this is literally as close as we can get. So you guys, why is Adopt Me adding in pets that we already have in a different version? We've seen the actual evil chick, the evil dragon, and a possible evil dog as well. So, so far, you guys, we don't have any actual new pets. Okay, so let me know if you guys know yet where I'm going with this, you guys. Okay, so here is the thing that I am kind of thinking. You know how for the last, what, year, two years, we have been able to make neon pets. We've also been able to make these super awesome and super epic mega pets. But you guys, okay, hear me out. What if this update is going to be bringing a new version of pets that we are going to be able to transform our pets into? What if we are actually able to transform our pets into a dark version instead of it just being like the rainbow mega? Because I know that a lot of people are probably not into the like super cutesy rainbow mega type of pets. I have said this for so long, you guys, but I feel like Adopt Me just needs a new way to possibly change our pets. What if we are actually able to turn them evil? Our pets evil because we have not seen any new pets. We have only seen the current version in a completely new state. Now, like I said, you guys, this is completely speculation. And of course, this could possibly be only for decoration with a new Halloween map and location. I thought I would have a little bit of fun with this and kind of speculate on what this could possibly be. So if you guys think this is going to be a new version of pets that we are going to be able to create coming with the Halloween 2021 update, of course, make sure to let me know down in today's comments. Make sure that you guys give today's video a super big thumbs up and hopefully I'm gonna get to see you all next time. Bye guys.